Hello there, hope everybody's doing great on this Monday. Back at you one more time. I'm Jordan Dealmaker. Welcome back to Lunchtime with the Dealmaker. Y'all, this is hard, hard video for me to make. One of South Carolina's greatest women basketball players that ever played, Angel Wilson, comes out and makes a statement after getting her, her signature shoe deal with Nike. Uh, the statement was in the AP. I think it was over the weekend. She said that Caitlin Clark is... Um, the reason why she's getting everything she's getting is because she's white. That everything's about race. Uh, this is disappointing to me that A.J. Wilson, the two-time MVP of the WNBA, would say that. This is the same person that has a statue outside of Colonial Life Arena, which is the home of the Gamecocks basketball, men's and women's. Has been the most highly regarded basketball player in the WNBA. And guess what? It wasn't working. The WNBA was still losing money. They were still losing money. It's actually been written and found to be truthful that Nike turned your deal down. And now the only reason why they signed you to the deal is because Caitlin Clark, the exposure her and Angel Reese and others are bringing, oh, but it's okay for Angel Reese to get a contract. She even said that too. As a black woman performing at a high level, you don't get recognized in any sport. Hey, Y'all, this is just despicable to me. It's despicable. These are the people that's going to hold the WNBA back from being successful. I mean, I, I know I sound like a parakeet repeating myself over and over, but they've never made a profit. They haven't. I mean, they're activists, league. And if they allow this to happen... What's transitioning now is the college game is so much more attractable to audiences. That's why they're getting the ratings and the TV contracts they're getting right now. And the WNBA is not. So now this group of players, whether it be male or female, but let's just say female because that's what we're talking about, moves to the WNBA and all these eyeballs wanting to see what they're going to do in a league that nobody cared about. So if you were that great and it's all about race, um, and you are a great player. Again, you got a statue outside of our arena. Well, why didn't you change it? She immediately comes in and changes it. And you're all making more money because of it. But yet you're going to, if y'all keep this cloud, this stigma over the WNBA, it's never going to gain popularity. And that's what I don't understand. And AJ Wilson, I love you. You're a great player. You're a great human being. I've met you. But to come out and say something like this just because you got a signature shoe with Nike and it was a lesser deal than Caitlyn got, man, y'all need to y'all need to grow up and realize that y'all's incomes are only going to go up because of this. Get off your high horse and just say thank you, thank you, and accept it. Why? Because you don't have to go overseas. You don't have to go to Russia and play anymore. You can play right here and make a good income. You just signed a deal after they declined it. Like you said, they didn't want it. And now they signed it. Now, if you want to talk about something being racial, maybe they signed you because you were the most popular person in the WNBA, and guess what? Caitlin Clark now is, and they needed a white and a black female. But she didn't get hers just because she's white. She got hers because she's the best player that's ever lived. The best scorer that's ever lived. Y'all are shooting yourselves in the foot, man. Women, y'all need to stop it. Wake up and smell the coffee. Hope y'all have a great day. Thank you.